Spit bars, I stand behind mine. Yeah. Sentences I serve, maximize guidelines. Uh. My lawyer can't give me his advice when he's beast that I murder carry mandatory minimums of life. Yikes. In case you didn't get the point, we spit bars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Maximum Sentence, where there's conviction behind the bars. My name is AJ Throwback. For those of y'all who don't know me, I am a music producer, a recording artist, a music experience facilitator, or a fancy way of saying DJ, a radio personality, content creator, all around creative. And so I created this series largely because anybody who knows me knows how much I love lyrics, how much I love to peel back the layers of lyrics and everything. And so I decided to create a series where I do it for my own lyrics. The strong point that I do is actually writing the bars out. And so I'm all about creating nuanced, layered bars that you really have to sit and break down and you have to really sit and think about. It's not something that is just straightforward and there's nothing there you really have to go back and listen to that bar. So for me, this series is all about breaking it down even more. So today's song that I am breaking down is my latest single called The Lincoln and Lincoln Job Fair. But before we even get there, this is what I need y'all to do. If y'all love the content that y'all are seeing with this series, if you love the content that you see on my channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel Hit that subscribe button, get the bell notifications, like, comment, share, all of that good stuff. So we got that out of the way. Now, the song that we're talking about today, the Lincoln and Lincoln Job Fair, my latest single. Give you a little bit of background about the single. So originally the beat that I created for this song was called Consistent and Consistency to talk about how the one thing that I am consistent at is being inconsistent. You know, I start something and it starts off great, but then maybe frustration comes in and some setbacks happen. And so then I decide, eh, maybe I'll go on to something else. So, but the lyrics weren't really coming together for that song. But I started brainstorming a song called The Lincoln and Lincoln Job Fair. And so what that really signifies is everybody wants to put in their two cents about the type of job you should have, the type of career path you should have. And so let's break down the first four bars in this song. That's my mama's heart trying to caution how when Carter's and not a stake is forsaken. Uh -huh. Was calling bones, patient and paintings, waiting for blatants. Yeah. The painting, the slave and trying to hook them with minutia. Yeah. The payments are greater when you're pushing up a two. All right, so I love my mom. I love, you know, I think so many of us can relate to having parents, having aunties, having grandparents, uncles, cousins, whoever it might be in your family who see potential in you. They see a certain direction that you may be going in and but they call themselves really trying to protect you because the bottom line is that there's a realism that you have to have whenever you go into any field, especially a field as sensitive as being an artist. So that's why I said, you know, bless my mama's heart, trying to caution how when called as an artist, stake is forsaken. So, you know, it was a whole thing of, I never forget, it was one day we were on, I think she we were on my way to going to this, it was a science and math camp that I was going to. And we were riding in the car going to, she was dropping me off at Anacostia Metro Station in Southeast DC. And so um, on the way there, you know, I'm telling her how much I want to be an artist, like an actual sketch artist, visual artist, because that was, that was really the start before I was even really into music like that. And so, my mother is very much a realist about things. And so she told me, that's good, but you really want to have a fallback plan because the last thing that you want to do is be a starving artist. And I had never really heard that term until that particular day. I was like, a starving artist? As soon as she said starving and knowing that I'm the type of dude that like to eat, <laughs> as soon as she said that, I was like, I don't want to starve. I don't want to be out here like, stomach grumbling trying to figure out how I'm gonna pay for this or pay for that like I understood that concept at like 11 12 you know so it was like I still drew but I think hearing that it really took the wind out of my sails a bit and so really thinking of that's why I said you know it was a fancy way steak is forsaken you know like you're basically a starving artist and so then the next couple of lines my skull and bones patient at paintings, waiting for platons. It feeds into the whole starving artist thing. Then I say, 
the painting, the slaving, trying to hook them with minutia. The payments are greater when you're pushing up petunias. That whole part right there really relates to the whole thing of people a lot of times don't appreciate your work until you're dead and gone. And who wants to live a life like that? Who wants to be appreciated, you know, be talked about and in folklore or legend or whatever, and you're not even here to receive those flowers. And so <laughs> the only way that you receive the flowers is pushing them up in a casket somewhere. Nobody really wants to live a life like that. And so really tying it with the trajectory of the song and the importance of the song, it's really a whole thing saying Sometimes you really have to, as parents, you have to push plan A more. It's the whole thing, and I'm y'all gonna hear me say this a whole lot when it comes down to it. Um, Proverbs 22, 6, I always quote this scripture where it says, train a child up in the way he should go and he shall not depart from it when he is older. And a lot of times people don't, they miss the mark when it comes to that scripture, when it comes to children you see a certain direction your child is going your job as a parent and you know i'm not saying this in any way to you know criticize my mother and how she raised me i, I love my mother and you know what she did for me but it's really just to say that we have to be careful with how we mold our children in the direction we try to guide our children because if we see them going in a certain direction especially if we know they're gifted we know that they're talented at something our job as parents is to guide them in that direction. I'll never forget a pastor saying, we have to treat children like pruning a tree. You see a tree going in a certain direction, you gotta keep pruning that tree in that direction. The moment that you decide to try to change the trajectory of that branch and how that branch on that tree is growing, you ruin, you ruin the branch and you, you weaken the branch. At, because you're trying to prune it in a totally different direction than the way that it's going. So that's why it's very important to encourage kids, especially when it comes to the arts, because I know the arts is a very sensitive area to try to get people to get involved in, but there are so many different areas that you can go in. Just thinking from a music perspective, we're gonna just stay right there for a second. Just from a music perspective, there are so many different areas, even if you're not an artist, even if you're not a producer, even if you're not, somebody who's the actual creative there's a way that you can really get in the door and still do what you love or be in the field that you love but a lot of times we're not told that as kids and so for me it was very important to outline the fact that yes i wanted to draw i wanted to do art and there are def there were different areas that i could have gone in but if i had gotten more of that direction instead of basically have a fallback plan. I'm not gonna say don't have a fallback plan or don't have multiple options available, but I am going to say that we have to start doing a better job of guiding our kids in a certain direction and giving them all of the tools that they need in order to be successful in the field that they're actually talented in. It's a matter really of saying, okay, you're good at art, okay. Well, this is what you gotta do. You gotta do A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And this is what you have to do in order to be successful in this particular field. We're gonna get you the tools and you're gonna work, you're gonna work this plan. Let's work plan A a little bit more. And so that's why it's very important to um, make this particular song and open the song up in the way that I did. Again, it's not any slight or any diss to my mother. My mother's an absolutely great woman but it is to say that we as parents we have a specific job and we have to do a better job of recognizing what our children are talented at respecting the fact that they come to us and say hey mommy daddy I'm good at this or I'm really interested in this instead of being fearful of the fact that they may be out here struggling or whatever, put them in a position where they won't struggle and still be able to be in the field that they're actually gifted and talented in. That's really all it's a matter of. And also, you know, that's one part of it, but then I go to the, the latter part of that particular part of the first verse is, 
we have to learn to appreciate people more when they're here so they don't feel like they're starving artists you know what i'm saying that's why it's so important for us to support artists no matter what kind of artist it is if you see somebody and they're talented and you know they're talented you know float them some dollars don't wait until they're dead and gone and they can't <laughs> they can't say thank you anymore you know what i'm saying don't wait until they're no longer here or don't wait until you see them struggling to the point where they can't pay certain bills and they're struggling to do this and they're struggling to do that if somebody if you see somebody that's talented support them right now and if we treated our artists and we treated our creatives like important members of our society then nobody would have to feel like i gotta starve in order to in order to really survive you know or we wouldn't we wouldn't treat artists because the thing is we want to be entertained by artists but we don't always want to make sure that they're compensated properly you know so that could that could be a whole nother conversation for another day but that's basically a, a a basic breakdown of where i was going with those first four bars of the first verse of my latest single lincoln and lincoln job fair so what i would like everybody to do as i said from the outset please make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you appreciate this particular segment of the maximum sentence please make sure you subscribe to my channel like comment share all of that good stuff spread the love spread the word please remember if you love the single if you've heard the single by now please make sure that you you know spread the word spread the word to everybody that you know that it's a dope single if you don't have the single please 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 make sure that you go get it you can go to my website bammllc.net that's bammllc.net from there if you want to buy the single, you can buy the single. If you want to go to, if you have a preference in terms of your streaming platform, I'm on all the streaming platforms, Spotify, uh, iTunes, um, Amazon, Tidal, all the streaming platforms, I'm there. So definitely make sure that you get this single, enjoy this single, and make sure you follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook at AJ Throwback, Twitter at AJ Throwback, on Instagram and TikTok, I am a.j.throwback. And yeah, I just appreciate y'all for tuning in for the maximum sentence. Please, if you can relate to anything that I said in this video, please make sure that you comment. And um, if you want to tell me a story, I might showcase it next week. And if you've heard the song and there's certain bars that you want me to break down, please, by all means, let me know in the comments or you can shoot me an email, info at bamllc.net. Once again, that's info at bammllc.net. Shoot me an email, let me know what bars you want me to break down and I will happily break them down either the next time or on another episode of The Maximum Sentence where there's conviction behind the bars. Once again, I'm your man, AJ Throwback. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and I'll see y'all next week where we're going to break down a different set of bars from the same song, The Lincoln and Lincoln Job Fit. So I appreciate y'all. Y'all be easy. Peace. Bless my mama's heart, trying to caution how when Carter's and not a state is forsaken. Uh -huh. We're scalding bones, patient and patents, waiting for blatants. Yeah. The painted, the slave, and trying to hook them with minutiae. Yeah. The payments are greater when you're pushing up a two.